Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Red Focus. I am Sushma. Today in this session we are going to see on darkroom techniques in medical imaging. So let me introduce you to the darkroom techniques. Initially in 80s and 90s the photography and the development of the photographic image was made possible by darkroom techniques. Similarly it was adopted in radiography as well in medical imaging. Um, there were three methods in darkroom techniques. First, we will obtain an invisible latent image by exposing X radiation to patient and obtaining our data. I will be explaining in detail. And the second step, we will be converting an invisible image into visible image. And in the third step, we will be viewing and recording an image before diagnosis is made possible. So in the first step, we will be seeing how invisible image is obtained. So X-ray tube will expose a uniform intensity of X radiation to the patient. As it penetrates the patient body, it carries the anatomical, physiological and pathological information and bridges the film. An X-ray film will react and it collects, it stores the data and invisible image, the latent image is made possible. And in the second step, the conversion of invisible image, the latent image into a visible image is made possible by four methods. First method will be photographic method, photo, photo, uh, photographic method and the second method will be zero radiographic method and a third method will be fluorescent effect and a fourth photon stimulating lum, uh, luminescence method. So in the first step the photographic method there the X-ray film will react differently to the different chemicals and the chemical process, chemically processed and the obtained image will be the first step. We will, it will convert invisible image to visible image. Uh, regarding this, in the further classes, you will be discussing uh, various, me various methods, like there are two methods basically, uh, manual and automatic, we will be seeing in the next class, don't worry. So in the second step, that is, uh, zero radiographic process. In this, in similar to X-ray film, we will expose a charged sheet that will react or leak the electrons once it exposed to the X radiation. The unexposed area remains the same. The exposed area will start leaking an electrons and we will blow up a, a toner powder so that the image is obtained. And in the third step, the fluorescent effect. The fluorescent material is exposed to X radiation and it eliminate light, it will emit light, visible light and that will be recorded by a um, image intensifier and it will be viewed by a television monitor. It will be computerized and be visible by the television monitor. And in the fourth step that is the photon stimulated luminescence similar to the X-ray film how we have obtained the latent image similarly but the it will be converted into a visible image made possible by emit, emitting or incidenting a photon using a laser and stimulating the electrons uh, and we will obtain an image and that will be computerized and processed and viewed in a television monitor. So these are the four steps we are converting latent image, the invisible image into visible image. And the third stage of darkroom technique that is viewing and recording an image that requires a uh, further discussion that is a separate topic i will be discussing in further classes so thank you thank you for watching if you did like my video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you